Well, good morning to you and welcome to our daily Timothy Time. Today is Wednesday, the 7th of October 2020. My name is Carl Coates from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim in Norway. If you're reading through the reading program we've got today, we'll be in the Pauline Epistles, Titus chapters 2 and 3, and in Philemon or Philemon uh, chapter 1. So we're closing out the, the, the Pauline read at the moment. And if you're reading through the Bible in the year, today will be Exodus 39 and 40. Right now we're getting to some interesting stuff. Bible timeline number 22. I want uh, uh, there's two passages of scripture you need to get. Genesis chapter 12, please, in one hand, and the in the other hand, Nehemiah 9, verse 7 and 8. Quick question: Who was the shortest man in the Bible? Nehemiah. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, on a more serious note. Uh, let's get to uh, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. What I want you to see, we've so far, if you if you go back and read Genesis 10 and 11, you see where the earth is at at the time. We've looked at Romans chapter 1, uh, uh, verses 18 through 32. Is this time period that we're dealing with in Genesis 11, uh, uh, 10, 11, and 12? 10 and 11, and then in verse uh, chapter 12, verse 1, we read, Now the Lord... Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And then there's a, a sevenfold uh, uh, provision. It's the basic issue of the Abrahamic covenant comes next. In verse 2, it says, and God says in verse 2, And I will make of thee a great nation, one, and I will bless thee, Two, and I will make thy name great. Three, and thou shalt be a blessing. Four, verse three, and I will bless them that bless thee. Five, and curse them that curse thee. Six, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Okay, so there's that sevenfold provision that God lays out there in the Abrahamic covenant. But now here is the kicker. This is where you need to pay attention. The sevenfold provision is the basic issue. Okay. It is expanded and confirmed a little as we go through the book of Genesis. Okay, I'm going to say that again. The sevenfold provision we read about in, in chapter 12 is expanded and confirmed. Okay, that is vital that you grasp that. Please get that because if you don't get that and you don't understand it, and we're going to cover this in quite quite a bit of depth. If you don't fully grasp this, the, that 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 notion out there, and I'm going to say it, there's a notion out there. It's called covenant theology. Covenant theology is um, it's everything in opposition to what we're going to cover in this Bible timeline. And this is where the problem starts with covenant theology here in verse 12. So I, 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 I thank the Lord that I have faithful men that have taught me and shown me what the word of God is surrounding the Abrahamic covenant and how it gets added to or expanded to and how it's confirmed. Because that's that. This is key, okay. And we're going to cover this in quite a bit of detail, so don't stress too much. Now, if you ever look in the diagram here, you'll see that the, there's the nations, uh, and then you get the the critical point, chapter twelve, and then the nations carry on on their own. That, that that's known. The scriptures, Ephesians chapter two, verse eleven and twelve, speaks about the uncircumcision. Remember, early on in this in in this uh, Bible timeline, we've we saw circumcision and the uncircumcision. Well, that the nations become the uncircumcision. And we see in chapter 12 that Abraham is called out. Now, I want you to go to, in your own time today, you want to go to Nehemiah chapters, uh, uh, chapter 9, verse 7 and 8. Please read that and compare that with Genesis uh, 12, verse 1. I see my time's up for today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the read. I hope you get time to look these verses up. And until we catch up tomorrow, take care and Maranatha.